Welcome hoarders, they are going to be playing some more American Truck Simulator. Um, today we're going to be using my International 9800. Um, I bought this one recently because the vehicle, uh, let me see what the other truck was. It was the day cab. Um, the Kenworth W900A day cab that I had. That, the, it's a mod, um, so is the International one, I do believe. Um, but the Kenworth one... I had issues with that where it it had no audio to it whatsoever, like no engine noises, none of that stuff. Um, this one's a pretty sound mod. Um, the only problem I had with it was trying to find a good paint color. Um, there's some options for it, but I, I mostly like... Um, I don't care for the flat front uh, semi-trucks like this. I usually like... Um, like, I don't know what really the name of it is. Um, like, I want, I like the ones with the engine in front of the cab, not under it. If that makes any sense. But I really don't know what we're going to do today. Okay, so we're over in here. Oh, we're at the real far bottom of New Mexico. Um, let's see where there's any jobs um i really don't know what let's see what jobs there are here to go somewhere else i'd like to do something fun there's not there's nothing that's extremely interesting here i kind of like the um like the linked trailers like that i don't know if i did cars yet in a video though uh, 30 wood. That's pretty heavy. That's 44,500. Uh, this is heavier. Let's just do this one. And that's a bit farther distance also. So let's do that one. Um, I will probably have a couple odd frames at the very beginning here. Where am I going? Uh, okay. Definitely not where I was thinking we were going. Did I already hit something? Oh, yeah. Last episode, I was driving... Not last episode. Last time I was just messing around. I was driving like a madman trying to get some of these jobs done. And I drove this truck up over a guardrail. Don't worry about that engine malfunction. That'll be fixed here shortly. That's not going to be a problem at all. I hope. <laughs> the problem with me in this game is if I have a truck that is powerful, I'm going to use all the power it has. Especially when my brakes don't work great like that. I will definitely visit a... Uh, shop soon, but I have to wait. I can't go right now. Um, is it the place? Okay, it's up here to the right. I was thinking it was the other place. Uh, where are we going? Out back? Out front? Here's our trailer. I want something big. Uh, this is probably going to be a late shipment, though. I'm going to say that right off the bat. Uh, okay, it's parked like that, so we're going to have to do some fun maneuvering. I don't care if I hit anything. I really don't. Not right now. It's it's already pretty destroyed from, like I said, I was just messing around before. A 
Okay, so we're gonna stop at a... I guess stop somewhere along the way. Um, at a rest stop or something like that. Or not a rest stop, a, uh, a garage. I would like to stop at a garage, get this fixed, and also sleep. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to get a good delivery time for this. Um, I'm more focused on just getting the delivery. What did I hit? I don't see a single sign that says no right on red. We're going to go and get a ticket anyway. Okay. Definitely want a, uh, a steering wheel for this. That'd be so much better. Going around town. Because I hate, like, keyboard catting. Because you just go left and right, left and right. Also, I think v a VR headset would be pretty cool. Just because I don't care for the moving the mouse to look around. I'm not a big fan of that, but I, I do think, yeah, I have that. That actually seems more fluid, if you really think about it. I have uh, buttons to look left and right also. Which I should probably use more often, actually, because I don't know, I don't, wouldn't even have to touch the mouse then, other than like at the very end of deliveries. Also, my guy's pretty tired. I wasn't really thinking of that. Okay, no one on that side. Even though I was basically already over here. Okay, that's cool. The malfunction run. I should just name the episode, uh, doing a delivery with a broken truck. Because it was, what, 43% destroyed? Um, but that, that's not from this run, though. That's, like I said, from the last run. We're good. We've got a while before anything really bad happens. I should have really prepared this, uh, for an episode before I jumped right in. Um, I gotta try to do, like, I don't know, like, do two episodes with every truck. It's okay. It's still okay. Okay, still okay. Just barely. Um, okay, there's a repair shop right up the road over here. So, uh, let's do that and then let's go to bed up there. Come on, Skippy. Move along. Oh, there's a cop right in front of him. that looks like it's down here okay there's the repair shop I think I think I've been to this one actually uh actually <coughs> uh, we'll have to fix it here then we'll have to go somewhere else to park and sleep because I do not have 
a they they don't have a place here to uh, to sleep I don't know if I'm allowed to do this but we're gonna do it brakes aren't great I already knew that though. Come on, give me the green. Now this is content. Oh shit, that's not even mine. Except it is. <laughs> hey. If you can go, go. Def obviously don't do that in real life. But we've been sitting at that red light for far too long for video game standards. Um, I don't want to backtrack a lot. Uh, I'm going to go over in this lane, though. Especially since it's already green and still got a ticket. That one, I actually followed what the thing said. Okay, you got to go in here. Without a doubt. Okay, we slap. Got my thumbnail. Let's uh, get back out to the main road. See what kind of damage we can do out here. It appears to be good. <coughs> Give me my green. Heading down the road. I don't know what I'm singing because that's not a real song. How far is this? Okay, we only have uh, four hours left. That's not terrible. Okay, now we can start picking up a little speed. Actually, a lot more speed. Come on, buddy. No one over there. Should be in that lane anyhow. Da ba dee, da ba die. Um, this has, I think this is the vehicle I have. It has a little over 700 horsepower. I think it's like 718. So, by far one of my more powerful trucks that I have. But the problem with me is if I have a powerful truck, I use the power. Like, I'll just zip through all the red lights and stuff like that. Um, for these episodes, I try not to do it too much. Um... For the most part, I'll follow the actual road rules, and I won't drive like an absolute lunatic. Roswell discovered. I thought we already went here. Apparently not. Okay, 
right, this next one we're going to be making a left. Dabba dee, dabba die, dabba dee, dabba die. We're hitting all the red lights today. I'm actually going to shut off the HUD just because if I have the GPS on here, I prefer to just go by that. Um, but it's also, in my opinion, it's nice to see how many hours you have left, which is why I have the HUD up normally. But if I'm going to pay like $300 for a GPS, might as well use it. I feel like I need an interior light on. Just seems dark in here for some reason. Um, I was supposed to be doing another Vice City episode today, though. Um, but I'm not going to get that done until... I'm probably going to have to stream the game a little bit, because... What needs to happen on there is I need to get more money and buy more businesses in order to progress more through the game. That's my biggest issue right now. So once I do that, I can get back on track of doing normal episodes of that. Um, I'm also going to have to do some... Uh, I think tomorrow... So this is uh, Wednesday's episode here. Um, I'm cutting through it. I was already moving too quick. The brakes weren't going on hard enough um this what is it this thursday which will be tomorrow um for gran turismo 5 that episode is going to be quick um it's one single race with a uh, lamborghini diablo i believe it is um it's like a series of only the diablo lamborghinis so it's just going to be that one track and that's it. So that video will be quick. And then uh, Friday, of course, Call of Duty. Um, I'm enjoying the series, but not as much as other series of Call of Duty for some reason. Um, I'm thinking about maybe I might end up taking a break from it. I don't know. Um, I would like to beat the whole series, but the way things are going now... Like, it takes like 20 weeks to do... Um, one Call of Duty game. Like, I, I only post one episode a week, and some of them have, like... Most of them have 16 parts to them, but there's some that have, like, 24 different missions and stuff like that, and that that can take a while to do sometimes. Um, it'd be nice if some of them didn't take that long. But we will have to see. Um, this one, I think I'm almost three quarters of the way through it. So that's not too terrible. Not too terrible at all. I think I wouldn't mind even doing these episodes like Monday. Um, but like I said, most of these episodes are more of filler episodes. Like, I can't do any more... Um, my summer car stuff until there's updates to actually do more things. There's not really that much to do anymore on there until they add more stuff. Um, like, same thing with Vice City. I have to get stuff done to be able to record. Um, that's how a lot of my Gran Turismo episodes work. Which I might do a pretty long stream of Gran Turismo 5 sometime... Um, just because I need to earn money on there and might as well stream it so I can talk to people, um, while I'm driving and do like stupid stuff on there, like small cars with massive amounts of horsepower. But uh, like I said, I can't, I can't be making 
cars to have fun with if the goal is to earn money for cars. Because when you progress through the game, you're going to need a lot more stuff to get cars. Like, a lot more money to get cars. Um, but Gran Turismo Sport, I haven't had any problems with so far. That seems to be going pretty well. I had a couple races um, this... What was it? Sunday, I had to record my episode for Monday. I'm pretty far behind this week. Um, so I don't know when I'll get back into recording Medieval. Um, but the, you guys don't have to worry about the Medieval episodes. Um, purely because the Medieval episodes, I have so many of those already recorded. So I just have to wait until I can publish them. Like, I have at least four more um, on deck to be posted. Of course, once you stop, that's when it turns green. Da ba dee, da ba die, da ba dee, da ba die. We're probably, I think, an hour and a half away by now. Yep, I was pretty close. Hour and 39 minutes. Not a very, not a very long journey. The ones that get to me are like anything over 12 hours. Um, I'm going to try not to do like 12 hour or 8 hour ones while recording because I think that'll just be too boring. Like, the four, five, and six hour ones are, I feel like, a good amount of time uh, just to talk to you guys and stuff like that. Because I know driving a truck, even what I normally do on this game is I will play it with headphones off. Obviously, normally when I'm playing, I'm not recording it. Um, I'll just play some records or something like that and listen to music. And just play the game. And I find that decently entertaining to play it. Um, but usually if I'm playing it uh, and not recording it, I'm only playing it to earn money. Wow, we're yeeting it on through here. What's this? It says 65 is the speed limit. I don't have a clue how fast I'm going. Looks like we're about going 80. Yeet. Imagine if my summer car looked more like this. That'd be dope. Like, if my summer car was mixed with, like, Gran Turismo or something like that. Mixed with Grand Theft Auto, that'd be, like, the, the perfect game. I would never get tired of that game. Or like Car Mechanic Simulator. Like if they had GTA 5 with Car Mechanic Simulator. And you could fix your own car or even pick your own parts for your own car. I would love that. Like ooh I want to put a supercharger on this car. Because then, then cars are a lot more personalized than they can get on like GTA and stuff. Oh, yeet. I realize that was an extremely dangerous thing to do right there. Um, but who cares? Not me. Do we have enough? Yeah, we're good. On the road again. Okay, we're going to have to take this exit. Screw it, I'm not slowing down until I have to. Little wrong side of the road driving never hurt anyone. I think the next time I do a video on this, I'm probably going to use a controller. I need to set up a controller on this game. Because it is just too difficult to... 
really drive normal when you're on a keyboard. Okay, that guy just went right on red, so I'm going right on red. Why'd I even bother changing lanes there? We're hitting them. Oh, no, we're not. Hard to get stuff readjusted when I have my, uh, my two keys set so close to each other. Like, most of this episode is just right-hand driving. Um, a lot of times I will use, like, the WASD for it, but I have the number pad set up. Um, just because my dominant hand is my right hand. And I don't... It's not that comfortable for me. Unless I'm using a, a uh, mouse. If I'm using a mouse, that's different. Hey, Barney. Wow, I missed that by a mile and a half. Now, the problem here is they're not going to let me back in. I don't know why they don't let you do that. Um, maybe it's because that's a later thing. Something like that. I don't really know why it is that they don't let you back in with these type of trailers. Um, okay, we're going to have to fix that. If it doesn't go in this time, I don't know what to do. There we go. All I had to do was a much wider turn and we're set. Excellent. That was not excellent. That was really bad, actually. Uh, continue. Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode then. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.